just on the tariffs question, you said you have spoken to Anthony Blinken. I'm wondering if you have had a chance to speak to Lindsey Graham or other members of the uh, or anyone close to the incoming Donald Trump administration. And what do you think Canada's plan should be going forward? You mentioned protecting Canadian interests. Does that mean fight fire with fire? So, yes, I've had numerous conversations with key uh, American leaders, uh, and I'll continue to uh, uh, operate diplomatically, and I really think that sometimes it's better to do so in private settings. Um, that being said, I think when it comes to uh, what the president announced yesterday, I think it is important that we bear in mind that the security of our border is something that is important for Canada and, of course, of course, for the U.S. And we need to make sure that when it comes to migration, that we have a safe border. It is, of course, in the interests of the U.S. to have a safe border, but it is in our fundamental interest, too. And you heard also um, the Minister of Immigration before uh, Han saying that uh, not everybody was welcome to Canada. So um, I think that Canadians expect us to do the work, to do the job on um, protecting our border. That's exactly what we're doing. And we, were, we will work with the upcoming administration on this issue. And of course, when it comes to uh, our, um, our economy, we will work as a Team Canada to make sure that that's also the case. And uh, good news is that uh, all uh, the uh, premiers will be meeting uh, with the prime minister tomorrow in the context of a first uh, minister's meeting. I'm told the minister may be out Sorry. of time. I'm not sure if there's a possibility for one more question, the follow-up from Rafi. But, yes, uh, one I more question, one more follow-up, and we're done. Okay. Thank you. Just wondering on the question of a Lebanese ceasefire, you yeah. were optimistic that was going to happen earlier in the year and then disappointed when it did not. Um, what makes you confident that this one could be uh, could actually happen? Listen, I, take, I never take anything for granted. Uh, we've been calling for a ceasefire in Lebanon for a long time. We think it's in the interest of the region, of Israel, of Lebanon. Uh, and we really hope that this will bring back peace and security. Uh, I've had very positive conversations in the last uh, days with Hamas Oshtin, uh, which is the special envoy uh, of the U.S. for Lebanon, with Tony Blinken himself, with Jean-Noël Barrault, who is the French foreign minister. So I really, really think that uh, we need to continue to uh, press for it. And after, after uh, what we also need to do is to step up our uh, support uh, to uh, Lebanon, including the Lebanese armed forces, which are key to making sure that should there be a ceasefire, which we really, really hope that that will be the case, that afterwards Canada can play a positive role in making sure that the ceasefire uh, uh, remains uh, and that we are able to uh, get back to a stability and that families on the northern side of the border, so in northern Israel, can come back uh, to their homes and the same thing on the uh, south Lebanon side. Of course, we understand that, that there's been so many innocent lives that have been uh, killed. We know also that reconstruction of Lebanon uh, will be a key priority and Canada will play its part. And I believe that's all the time we have today. Désolé, uh, uh, mes collègues, mais it's a very intense, busy day. Merci, Madame Julie. Thank you, Thank everyone, you. for attending. Thank you so much.